Exam items discrepancy. Yeah, we're here at Blackburn with Darwin Services on the M65, a really cold winter's day. And have I got a caution to tell you about regen braking. Now, for those of you who don't know, when you brake on an EV, some of the power of that goes straight back into the battery, which extends your range doesn't have an impact on a motorway like the M65 in the background because uh, you don't do a lot of braking, but around town, constant braking, stop, start, stop, start. So what happened with me? Well, my car went off to the repair shop, had a little bump, got a higher car, and I looked everywhere for the regen button, couldn't find it, moaned bitterly to everyone I gave a lift in it about regen not being there, uh, and my economy was absolutely appalling. We were around about three, three miles per kilowatt hour. I expect far more from this car. However, just asking Jonas to have a look at the instruction book, I suddenly found out there's a lever right in front of me which switches regen on and off. Wow, I tell people to read the instruction book. I don't do it myself. Anyway, switched on regen, did some round town motoring, instantly went up 10%, the range, 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. And that's only after a few miles. This will do an awful lot more. So if you do most of your motoring in town, stop, start, use regen every single time, you'll get much further on it. If you're on the motorway, the little lever there, you just switch it off because it doesn't have any impact whatsoever and you get your better range. Anyway, that's it for now.